G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel for an exciting video today. So you guys know that we are in partnership at True Footy with Game Day Squad, which is a new startup in the Australian fantasy sports sort of scene, but it's a very, very new age version of that, and I'm really, really excited to work with them and even show you guys how Game Day Squad really works in terms of, there's some really, really cool aspects to it, and uh, I think it might even almost revolutionize the way uh, AFL fantasy sport is going to be played in the future, but we'll, we'll get into it today. The point of the video is to give you a good understanding of how it works and to announce that I have come up with a true footy competition to so another true footy league similar to the way we do fantasy and footy tips around here. I'll give you a little bit of a rundown on how it all works and we'll go from there. So describe exactly what Game Day Squad is. It's kind of almost, in my mind at least, a mixture of AFL Fantasy slash Supercoach uh, mixed with uh, the sort of NFT space as well. But also it kind of really reminds me of the, the even the ultimate team or even your core manager mode on FIFA as well because there's some really cool aspects where you can manage your team differently to the way you can do on AFL Fantasy and Supercoach and things like that. Essentially, the biggest difference is, you know, instead of, you know, your AFL Fantasy team where you're kind of trading players in and out, instead how it works is you open footy packs full of players and then you own the actual asset that is that player. So you build your squad up opening footy packs, which is kind of, you know, reminiscent of having footy packs back in the day as kids. And the important distinction as well is unlike Fantasy, once you open a pack and you've got a player, this is a dynasty competition. So let's say you're lucky enough to open up a pack that's got young Nick Dacos in it. You don't just own Nick Dacos for that season, you own him until you give him up. So that's the other really cool thing about this is that you're not just building week to week to you know score as many points as you can for the rest of the year to finish as high as you can. You're kind of building a long-term premiership team, which means you open up your scope to consider how good certain you know young prospect players will go in a few years once you've got them on their team. You know, for instance, someone like a, a Campbell Chester at West Coast right now, if you put him in your fantasy team, sure, he's a good reserve bench option. He might even get dropped this week because he's had a couple of quiet games. But long term, we as Eagles fans expect Campbell Chester to be an absolute gun wingman. So the benefit of this would be that I can keep Campbell Chester and I can keep him in my squad until such time that he becomes a gun. I can do the same thing with Ruben Jinby. I can do the same thing with Nathan O'Driscoll at Fremantle. And it's kind of almost like you can go through rebuilds in your own squad as well. So let me give you an actual visual representation of how this works. We'll go through the website because it's got some cool visual aids. So obviously, as I said, you open packs to find players and there are different types of packs that you can get. And this is where it gives you a really good breakdown of how the scoring works. You can get bronze players, silver players, gold players, then platinum, diamond, and legend. And obviously the difference between these is firstly how rare they are. So there's an unlimited amount of bronze, you know, Nick Dacoses, but there's only one legend Nick Dacos. And the difference between the two is that his score will get multiplied by 1.5 if you've got a legend Nick Dacos versus a bronze one. So obviously it's better to have a rarer card of a given player because the multiplier is higher, uh, but also it's kind of cool to think you might have the only legend Nick Dacos in the entire ecosystem. So once you've assembled your team by opening all those packs, you assemble your starting team in the same way that you would for fantasy and they accumulate points based on their stats in real life games. And like I said, if you have particularly rare cards, you can get multipliers based on those statistics too. So looking at the website here, I wanted to get a good look at exactly how the fantasy points are scored. Uh, obviously it's a little bit different to AFL fantasy. They've given you four points for a kick. Uh, you get two for a handball. And the main differences are you get eight points for a goal and zero points for a behind. And a couple of little differences with the free kick points as well. But this is a really interesting part of it here for me. They give you the best performed players from the 2021 one season. So as you can see, Took Miller is the, uh, I guess, the MVP of the league. It looks like he was the top fantasy player that year, as well as the top game day squad player as well. But I suppose the interesting aspect here is when you look at number six, Aaron Hall, he was the 12th best player in AFL fantasy, but he's ranked number six in game day squad. And it gives you some helpful tips here as well, which I probably shouldn't give you away if uh, we're going to be playing a true footy competition. But uh, it notes that goal scoring forwards are going to do better because you can get eight points instead of six points. Naturally, defenders who take kick-ins are a good move too. Low disposal ruck when that one's kind of obvious. Those are going to be lower value type of players, as well as midfielders who don't hit the scoreboard. So I guess when you're considering building your side, uh, midfielders who can float forward and kick goals, um, Bontempelli, etc., Patrick Cripps at times, those are the higher value midfielders to pick. So that's enough advice. 
So the important thing to say as well with Game Day Squad is that it is actually entirely free to play if that's the way you want to play. Naturally, like most games, if you want to you know, level up your team, you want to buy some more rare packs and excel, you can invest in your team by buying packs, etc. like that. But by the same token, it's important to note that there are measures in place to make sure it's not just pay to play and then all the people who are willing to spend money on the game are the ones who dominate. It actually has measures like the salary cap to counteract that as well, which means that that uh, you can have uncapped and capped leagues. If you have a capped league, that means that every team that's in that competition needs to conform to a salary cap. So that's the total cost of your team has to be under a certain salary cap, which makes the competition much more fair. Similarly, there are uncapped leagues if that is your preference too. The other elephant in the room, I guess, is that we are, uh, you know, round three is just around the corner. So the footy season started. So normally with AFL Fantasy, at this point, you'd be like, okay, it's too late to start. The cool thing with Game Day Squad is there's actually weekly prizes that you can win. So there's always something to play for. Like me, for instance, I have just assembled my team today and I will show you my team right now. Cool. So how the game works is that when you sign up, you get a ton of uh, free packs. They're all of bronze rarity um, to fill up your squad as well. So I, I went ahead and I opened all my packs and this is the team that I was assembled. Uh, not enough Eagles. In fact, I didn't get any Eagles in my team, unfortunately. I did get Campbell Chesser, but uh, I've included him in my squad, but he's not in my starting team that you see there. But there's a few doozies. I do have Rory Laird. I do have Lockie Neal. I've got Trelaw, geez. And you can see their average score as well, which is a pretty cool way of doing it. Interestingly, I've got Alex Pierce here. I might see if I can swap him out. Yes, Jarman MP is a much better option, but you can see I've got Campbell Chesser there. That's right, so I've got him in the background, but he's obviously not quite good enough to make my side just yet. So Jarman MP comes in for Alex Pierce. So that's a pretty strong midfield obviously side bottom day costs a few pies in that midfield Pitna and Draper, it's not the, the strongest ruck duo, but uh, beggars can't be choosers, as it were. Uh, Jeremy Cameron um, is also in my forward line as well, but other than that, it uh, needs some serious improvement. I do have one dynasty sort of player, Edward Allen. Uh, he was a second round draft pick, or I think even late first for Collingwood. I think it was early second for Collingwood in the draft, um, and in long term, he might be a good player. So he's a good player to have in my squad, even though right now, he's probably not going to add that much. But the exciting thing is as well, I've got three packs to open for you guys, so we're going to do that together. I have got one common pack, uh, I've got a rare pack, and I've got a unique pack. So we'll go ahead and do that now. I'll show you the rare one, sorry, the common one rather. Uh, open it up, who have we got? I have got... Right, so flip it, Sam Berry, interesting. Good little player, actually. He's a silver, that's pretty good, actually. That's a, he automatically becomes my, uh, my well, at least my most rare player because he's got a multiplier of 1.1. So that's worth noting. So we'll go back to um, the, this here. We'll open up my rare pack. I think there is three of these guys. I can't remember exactly what I got in the end. Yep, three rare players, so let's have a flip. Luke Foley, oh dear. I've, that was unlucky. He is uh, unlikely to get it too many more games. Uh, Oscar Allen, here we go. It must know I'm an Eagles fan. That's a doozy, and that's a multiplier of 1.2. Connor West, huh, I wonder why they were all Eagles. Interesting. I wonder if that was just a fluke or not. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with the Oscar Allen pick there in particular. We'll go back to the pack. I have one unique card. Interesting. I wonder if that means truly unique. We'll see. What have we got here? This is exciting. This is, reminds me of Ultimate Team. Oscar McInerney, 1.3, a platinum Oscar McInerney as well. So you can see it's it's actually kind of tricky to get those legend cards. Obviously, if it was easy, then everyone would do it. Um, so we'll go back to my squad here and see who I can fit in. I did mention that forward line was looking a little bit uh, El Wico. Interestingly, Hipwood's average is really low, but we'll see if we can swap him in for uh, Oscar Allen. Absolutely. And who else did I get? I got McInerney, didn't I? He'd be a, a in the ruck and... Oh, there we go. I have Rowan Marshall as well. That's an oversight. Rowan Marshall can sit on my bench there. Cool. So that's actually not a half bad side now um, when you consider that we've just upgraded it with a, a silver and a platinum and a gold as well, Oscar Allen, I think. So... Yeah, starting to take shape, guys. But like I said, the important takeaway from this video is so that you can go ahead and do this. And again, it's completely free if you want it to be, um, but you can buy some packs as well if you want to top up your list. Um, but importantly, we've got a competition going for True Footy, and you can see the uh, competition code right there. I will also put it in the description of this video so you can just copy and paste. Um, but join the Western Stank Lords. Is, well, that's my team. The league is, league is called True Footy. 
but the Western Stank Call is just like it is in fantasy, um, is here to play this year. So thank you very much for taking part in this video, guys. I hope you see the potential that I see with this really, really cool startup. If you also want to play the rugby league version, you can. Uh, obviously, I've just talked about the Aussie rules one because we're all footy fans here, but if you do like your rugby, that is also possible in this game. But let me know in the comments what you think about this really cool project um, and get around it. We're going to have this league going. Make your team, assemble it, and remember it's a dynasty thing. So you can build for the future as well as trying to win the competition this year. But thank you very much, guys. I appreciate all the support lately, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.